my name is anush thaplial and today in this tutorial i will tell you what is pivot table in organization people find one problem that suppose if we are having more than 10000 20000 or 50000 employees or we have 50000 or 20000 records of employees and in that case if some senior manager ask us that please find out the name of the employees those who are in age bracket of 40 to 60 and they are drawing salary more than 1 lakh <coughs> and they have done sales above 10 lakh in this financial year <coughs> in this case we have to go through n number of data if we have 20000 30000 employee records so we will find firstly we will sort out by their age group and then <coughs> from the final list we will sort out according to their salary bracket and then from that final output we will find out the sales they have done so instead of do doing or counting the n number of spreadsheet record we will use pivot table we can do it manually also but that is possible but it is not feasible it will be a time consuming process so excel has provided us with a very good feature that is pivot table with pivot table within few clicks we can have our own user created summary the summary of the data you can play with the data you can arrange data in a manner in which you want according to your interest and your needs and within few clicks so this is the beauty of pivot table you can arrange your data row wise column wise in any sort of order okay to before starting with pivot table we must know few things which we have to keep in mind number one is if you have any blank row or column in your table please remove it for example right now we have this table we are working on this table if we have any empty column then please remove it or in the same way if we have any empty row this is also not required please remove it before applying pivot table second thing is in your table you must ensure that the first row of your table must be your field name as we can see we have five fields field number 1 2 3 4 5 in our selected table so the first row must be your field name field name is employee id employee name employee department employee sales employee region so first row must be a field name if you do not provide first row as a field name pivot table will by default it will take your first data row your first record as a field name and in this way you won't be able to understand anything but your one record will be destroyed so it is a good practice that you always put a field name as a first row on your table so let's start with the pivot table select your table first then move to this tab insert second tab click on it now you have pivot table if you click on it pivot table you have it is showing two options pivot table and pivot chart if you want a chart like bar chart pie chart so you can directly click on it but if you want a user created summary a complete pivot table in that case you will select on this pivot table after selecting on pivot table within with two three clicks you can create your pivot chart as well okay so in this tutorial i am going to tell you the pivot table so i am going to select pivot table click on it one window will pop up and 
you can see select a table or range table range as we have already selected our table before start in the at the beginning of this session we selected so it is depicting depicting here sheet 1 c3 to g3 g13 c3 is employee id c3 and g13 is tally g and 13 so it has selected the complete range if you have to fetch data if you do not have table on your system you want to or uh, in your excel sheet you want to uh, retrieve data from somewhere external data source you can click on it now choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed where you want your final summarized pivot table must come new worksheet or existing worksheet if we select existing worksheet this is our existing worksheet that is sheet 1 if we select existing worksheet our this original data this is table is our original data this original data will be destroyed and we will be having a pivot table in this table in this spreadsheet but i do not want this what i want that that pivot table it must come in a new worksheet so that my original data will be save safe and i can use it anywhere else in future okay as you can see by default also it is selected new worksheet so move click okay now you can see pivot table field list now notice that Pivot table has taken first row as a field names, employee ID, name, department, sales, and region. ID, name, department, sales, and region. So this is our original data, sheet five. Now I want employee ID to be depicted as row row labels, row wise. So select or drag. here from here and drop it at row levels it will come row wise i want employee name also come with employee id so again drag employee name and drop it at row levels so employee name is with employee id row wise now i want employee department must come column wise so drag and drop at column levels employee department and employee region also column wise so drag and drop now here in this area i want that data type on which i can do some statistics or count or any mathematical operation so i will select sales drag it and drop at values now as you drop you can see a beautiful Pivot table in front of you. This is you, our user created summary pivot table. As we can see that in our sheet one, we have these employees. Deliberately, I have entered employee two two times. Employee name is Ram. With employee ID two and department production, Ram has done forty thousand sales in Pune region, and Ram is also looking after Chennai region. He is looking he is responsible for two geographical locations. So, in Pune he has done forty thousand sales, and in Chennai he has done again forty thousand. Sales. So, Ram department will be same production production, and employee ID will also remain same. Only he is responsible for two areas, Pune and Chennai, two different different cities. This might happen in real world scenario. So that is why I have taken this example. Now, see employee one Anuj. Department is IT, done sales fifty thousand, and 
if you drag to the right you will see 50000 grand total is 50000 if you see employee to ram ram is from production department let me select this row ram and ram he is from production department in chennai he has done 40000 sales and in pune he has again he has done 40000 so grand total of ram is 80000 or we can say production department's total also is 80000 as there is no other employee in production department but in our marketing department we have two different employees number one is brijesh and number two is akhil so akhil has done 80000 sales in lucknow region and brijesh has done 90000 of sales in qatar so for marketing department you can see total is okay we have to select it grand total is 90000 for brijesh because he has done only one sales and akhil he has also done 80000 sales <coughs> okay so here you can see for department wise also in as in marketing we have two employees brijesh and akhil brijesh has done 90000 sales and akhil has done 80000 so for the total marketing department we have 90 plus 80 1 lakh 70 thousand sales so you can see in marketing department department wise also employee wise also you can you you have a grand total okay so this is our summary but if you want to change something like if you do not want uh, for example say ram ram has done sales twice at two different geographical locations chennai and pune he has done 40000 and 40000 but i want total he has done 80000 but i want average here with that ram average sales done by ram is what the figure i want to be revealed over here so you can rightly click on it and value field settings right now by default it is some if you want to count you can count if you want average you can select so in this case i am selecting average okay now see for ram average is 40000 and for marketing department bridges has done sales of 90000 akhil has done sales of 80000 but for the marketing department now it is showing us average that is 85000 so according to your interest and your needs you can create your own user created summary now at the top you can see pivot table tools if you click on it you have different designs as well you can select which sort of design to design you want let's say this one this one you have n number of options now suppose i want this one okay and if i want a empty row empty row after each record i can add from here insert blank line after each item so one empty row will come here which type of report you want report layout show in compact form show it outline form show in tab tabular form you can select okay with this again i'm going to pivot table tools now you see pivot chart when we started with the pivot table insert pivot table excel shown us two options pivot chart and pivot table we selected pivot table but with this feature once you are done with the pivot table you can create a pivot chart you just have to click on it now which sort of chart you want you want bar chart pie chart whatever so let us suppose i'm going to select this one if you select and click okay you will be having 
a beautiful table in front of you now you can see you can reveal your data your overall summary in a chart form you can do one thing you can copy or cut and paste it somewhere else so you are having pivot chart as well and you are having a pivot table as well so this is about pivot chart and pivot table please like share and sub subscribe if you like the video thanks for watching